Good day everyone. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the 172nd scale BF49E3 from ICM. So now let's crack open the box and see what's inside. On the front of the box, you can see the BF49 in combat with a Hawker Hurricane in the background. Top left, there is the ICM logo. The bottom left, you can see what scale it is, the model kit number. On this side of the box, it shows you the it shows you the same image on the front of the box to help you find it installed when it's on its side. On this side of the box, it shows you one of two decal schemes that are included. It also tells you that this is for ages 14 and over. On this side of the box, it shows where the, you can find the address for RCM. And on this side, it shows you some information about the kit. So now, so now let's open the box and see what's inside. As you can see when opening the box, everything is nicely packed away. Here we have our main sprue with clear parts. Our instructions manual. Our uh, painting and marking guide and at the bottom there are our decal there are decal sheets firstly I think we should take a look at the instructions Here are the instructions for the kit. As you can see here, there is a sprue map, which is there to help you find the parts that you need for each step. Over here we have some warnings and labels. It is in Russian and English. In step one, we are building up the cockpit. You will have to paint this um, RLM 02. Step two, we are, we are painting the inside walls of the fuselage and gluing in the cockpit. In stage three, we are adding the engine cowling and the horizontal stabilizers and the tower rudder. We are also adding the, uh, the strengthening struts. Now these are notorious on other 109E kits for snapping and breaking, so fingers crossed these ones will not break. We are also gluing the fuselage into the wing section. Step four, we are gluing the landing gear leg. So first we have the gear door, then we have the leg, and then the wheel. I would paint these individually, because because painting these separately would be a lot easier than gluing it and paint and painting it that way. On the opposite side of the instructions, on uh, step five, we are gluing on some of these parts here, which I'm not sure what they're called. We are gluing the undercarriage in. We are gluing the tail wheel on. Also, we'll have to paint the wheel bay RLM02. In this step here, we are building the air intake. Finally, step, step six, we are assembling the prop. Then we are attaching the clear parts with the radio antenna, as well as the two gun barrels, machine gun barrels on the leading edges of the wings. Also here it shows, shows a uh, it shows a paint code for Model Master. So if you don't if you do not have these, you'll have to find sub substitutes. Also here it has caution warnings for in the English and Russian. I'm not sure what these two are. 
It might be English and Russian as well. Here we have just some information about the address for RCM in both English and Russian and the RCM logo. So now that we're done with the instructions, let's take a look at the painting and decal sheet. As you can see here, this is a BF109 E3. Uh, it's in black and white. This is a 04, RLM 04, uh, 65. I forget the other colours. <laughs> This is part. This is piloted by Feldwebel Heinz Bar JG fifty fifty one September nineteen forty. So this is a early battle. Of, this is a early battle. Late Battle of Britain. Livery. Here we can see it's in the splinter type camouflage. On the other side, we have the we have another scheme. This is piloted by Oberleutnant Fritz Fritz. I can't pronounce that name. If if you know how to pronounce that word, uh, let me know in the comments. This is this is from this scheme is from March nineteen forty. So this would be an early Battle of Britain, BF forty nine. Here you can see it is pretty much the same as the other scheme, except that it does have the yellow nose and the yellow tail. Tail rudder. Here is the paint scheme on for the splinter camouflage. Now that we've looked I'm more I'm more pronounced on doing this uh, scheme, but I've you like the other one, you want me to do that one, let me know which one you would rather like to see me build. Now that we're done with that, let's have a look at the decals. Now, I have used RCM decals before, they were not great. These uh, seem to look okay. Here we have our national insignia for both aircraft. Our, our numbers for different for our different aircraft. I'm personally going to go with these red ones here. Here we have some other labels here, possibly nose art or something. I'm not entirely sure. Here we have all our stencils and warning labels to put on the aircraft. The transfer sheet does feel very sticky. If, if you know who makes these RCM transfers, I would like to know. But hopefully they will go on quite good to the model. Now that, now that we've covered the transfers, let's look at the plastic parts. Let's start off with the clear parts. Now the clear parts they are they come in two different versions. So if you want the canopy closed, I presume you will go with this one. If you wanted it open, I will presume you want this one here. But I could be wrong. But they seem to be good quality. Uh, I can't see any scratches on that. Maybe you can. There is also a gun sight. And I think that's headrest. Yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, that's out of the way. Let's look at the plastic parts on the sprue. Here we have the 
main fuselage, there's two of them. Looks to be like a um, model representation of a Daimler-Benz engine. It's not as detailed as the Airfix one. Here's the propeller. Let's take a look at the wings. They look to be very nicely moulded. Again, here are these, the uh, tailplane struts. Uh, fingers crossed these don't snap when I remove them. Here are the the wings, sir, the upper wings, and the tailplane and the rudder. They seem to be very nicely moulded. I can, I can feel something on this, so I might have to give it a, a uh, wash in soapy water. Here is the the prop hub, the uh, propeller hub, and I'm not sure why there's three of them. Maybe you know. The the inside of the 109 fuselage looks to be very well detailed. Again, I'll use a you might have to use a panel wash to pick out those details. And also the wheel bays, they look nicely moulded with lots of detail. Hope you can see that all right. So, now that that's all out of the way, let's just pack this away now. So let me know what you thought of this BF-109 from RCM. I'll personally like to know your opinions and if this is a good kit. I personally think it, this is a good kit for the value. If you're wondering how much I paid for this, this kit was 18 Australian dollars. You might be thinking, wow, oh, that's pretty cheap. But as you know, our country is very expensive. Anyway, if you'd like to see me build this on my channel, let me know in the comments. Thank you, what? Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video, hopefully soon.